Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm out at my granny camp, which is my Alaska off-grid cabin. One of the things that I like, no matter where I am, is the ability to take a shower. So for this year's summer, I bought a portable electric battery operated USB rechargeable portable shower. It's by Oakley. You can see when you open it, it comes with assorted parts, but it's simple to put together and it's very easy to use. I ordered it on Amazon and it isn't very expensive. The first thing you do is look at all the parts and make sure that you have them all. Then you want to take the little O-ring and you put it into the end of the hose. Now screw on the shower head. The controller has an on-off switch. That is also where you connect it to the pump. Before you try to use it, make sure you plug it in and charge it. You can plug it into any USB outlet and then you can see it lights up red when it's charging. It's great because after you've got it fully charged, the charge can last for nearly an hour, which allows you to have a lot of showers. The bottom of the pump has a filtering end where the water sucks into it and you can see there's a little dimple that sticks out that holds it off of the bottom so whatever water container you're using the suction is not going to be stuck onto the bottom of the container. Now thread the hose onto the pump and you can see it's over six feet long so it's plenty tall enough for who's ever going to want to take a shower. It comes with two ways to hook it it has a suction cup, you can put it onto a solid surface, or it has a hook, you could hook it over a branch or something in your camp. Attach the power unit and drop the pump into your water. I put some cold water in a bucket, heat some up on my camp stove, and pour the hot water into the bucket. Now I have warm water for taking a shower. Summers in Alaska are in the 60s and it can be cloudy a lot. You can't really rely on having hot water unless you're heating it up yourself. Now there's two ways that I use this. I can just stand on my mat outside, the water will run through it. I can shower and let the water run through onto the ground. Or you can stand in a dishpan type bucket. You can shower and it'll run into the bucket and then you have that water still that you can carry away and dump somewhere else. I have my shower head hooked over the curtain rod on my door and I have my bucket of hot water. Now I'm going to put the pump into the bucket of water. Don't put the controller into it. Hold on to the controller and turn it on and the water will begin to flow. Now I can turn on the switch and allow the shower to run. You can see that you get a lot of shower out of the head and it's still hot because I put hot water into it. I can click it off and on, make it go on and off with the click of the switch. Then you want to remember how to take a sailor shower. You get all wet, turn it off. Suds up, turn it on, rinse off. And you can do it with very little water. Once the water is heated up, I can also use it for washing the dishes. If you're washing dishes in an off-grid or a camping situation, get a sponge with soap on it. Wet your dishes suds them all up and then you can rinse them with the shower hose. Turn it on you can't control the flow of the water not the amount you can only control if it's on or off so if you don't have a lot of water pay close attention to how much you're using before you run out and you still have soap all over you or your dishes this also works great if you wanted to wash your pet or water your plants because you can tote it around wherever you want and it's easy to recharge it so you can keep going because the pump sits flat on the bottom you're going to be able to use all of the water in your container.
what little is left I could tip the bucket and turn it on again but you can see it got down to only about a half an inch of water left in the bucket and that's utilizing all that I could need. I like the Oakley portable shower. I like that it's rechargeable. It's battery operated. You can add your own water. You can hang it up different places and it works really well. Hang it all up to dry when you're done with it and then it has a storage pack for you to put it away carefully. When you're done using it for your camp out, make sure you take it apart to ensure that all the parts are dry and then store it away in the bag for your next trip. Try it. See if it doesn't help you feel clean on your outings. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.